Uh, the Cater City Council is split on how to obtain a piece of land that one council member says would serve a valuable purpose in a part of the city that needs it the most. Now the land is in District 1, and that's Councilman Billy Jackson's district. Now Jackson claims he was cut out of the plans on what to do with that land. News 19's Archie Snowden has been following the details of this dispute. He has more from Decatur. The topic of this dispute is a 1.6 acres of land where City Council voted in February to move forward with the purchase for a youth services center for $170,000. Now, Councilman Billy Jackson said he was cut out of those negotiations. Now, Jackson made that accusation during the last work session that the City Council never voted to authorize Mayor Tad Bowling or the legal department to negotiate a deal with the Decatur Housing Authority on the purchase of the land. The city handed the land over to the Housing Authority back in 2010. Jackson wants to use the land to develop Rough Rider Park, and he says that the council could get the housing authority to return the land for free. The dispute has led to contentious moments at city council. When we talked about public conversation regarding this, I went back and I asked Bain, well, maybe, Bain, I, I missed a meeting or something, and there was public conversation that I missed. There wasn't. There's not been the public conversation that we talked about. When I say you're, you've been involved, you've been opposed to this location. You wanted no. to have it at As a matter of fact, I'm not through. This would be a secondary location. Well, you're putting words in my mouth that aren't true. City Council is also split on what to do with the nearby Carries Matthews Park, which was shut down three years ago due to foundation issues. More on this dispute coming up later tonight. For now, we're indicator. Archie Snowden, News 19. And last week, the council voted to authorize Mayor Tab Bowling to complete the purchase of that property.